ain't no secret should do eddie kane jr like share subscribe if you subscribe to me leave a comment down the video so i can sub back to you deuce that identified and described an indictment as a racketeering enterprise that engages in acts of violence including murder and assault the weight of the evidence against mr offer specifically is substantial so mr offer purchased a vehicle that was used in this murder and assault on or about July 28th from a dealership in the Chicagoland area. During a post-arrest interview, Mr. Offord acknowledged that there were pictures of him at the dealership in the next to the car that was used in the murder. Mr. Offord identified himself in the photos in the vehicle that was used as his vehicle. Mr. Offord acknowledged that his dealership in the next to the car that was used in the murder, Mr. Offord identified himself in the photos in the vehicle that was used as his vehicle. Mr. Offord acknowledged that it was his signature on the purchasing documents for the vehicle. And, and I'll come back to this part when we get to history and characteristics of Mr. Offord, but Mr. Offord made some statements in the financing application for that vehicle that were not true with respect to his employment. And so days later, the dealership reached out to Mr. Offer to return the vehicle, which ultimately he did on August the TV. That was the leaked audio and a lot of people saying that why would they use a finance car or even purchase a car? Normally they would steal a car to do these things. It just doesn't make sense. Lost by car lead back to him. Like something doesn't add up. It all doesn't make sense. FBG Brick Product said in the live video that she did as well, the original live, they are also looking into the killers that killed FBG Brick because they believe DQ and another person who they arrested is involved in date. It is a rumor of keep in mind this is unconfirmed to have been looking into it. It's valid, they are going to make it to where uh, earlier this week or the address where he told pre trial he's been residing for the past two years. It's listed as both his personal address on the left Subscribe side of the page the and a business address on the right side of the page. Mr. Offord made some statements to pretrial again during this interview with respect to his employment. So looking down the first sentence under that, that sub paragraph, it says Mr. Offord explained that he's been unemployed since 2019 and is financially supported by family. Page one of exhibit one indicates that Mr. Offord represented to the Small Business Administration that he was a small business owner, that he had seven employees, that he had a clothing and apparel business that rose $73,000 in the past 12 months of the state of the application, which was June 24th of last year. And so if that's true, it's not something that he represented or told to pretrial about what his employment situation was and the statements that he's been unemployed since 2019. Again, if the statements in this application are true, those statements in the pretrial or that he made the pretrial are not true. So either way, one of these things can't be true. I, I will proffer to the, to the court, though, that Mr. Offer did, in fact, receive the money with respect to submitting this application. So if you look towards the bottom right-hand side of Exhibit 1, it says that there are losses due to the disaster in the amount of $8,000. If you flip over to Exhibit 2, the very first line, it appears that there was a deposit from the Treasury. It says SBAD, Definitely Small Business Administration, SBA. Treasury, in the amount of $7,000 on or about June 25th. Of Ain't no secret. Should do Eddie Kane Jr. Like, share, subscribe. If you subscribe to me, Leave a comment down the post so I can sub back to you. Yo. <laughs> y'all know why we here. You know what I'm saying? So man, y'all just heard, y'all heard that, uh, y'all heard that young recording, you know what I'm saying? So the clip. So it's like y'all ever had a sweater, you know what I'm saying? Got like a loose string, and tch, you know what's about to happen, but you still pull that string and that boy just start unraveling. Hey man, that sound like I think my boy. Los Mana, O Block Los, 
might be the loose string, you know what I'm saying? He got a lot on his plate, you know what I'm saying? He got, he already um, used a, a, a rental car on an alleged hit. And when they arrested you, you had like thousands of dollars on, on, some, on some crack cars up in your apartment, you know what I'm saying? You had money, all that, you know what I'm saying? You had all that up in your apartment, you got knocked, and now, um, they, they look at you, they, they going back to your, your statements. You told them like off rip, like, yeah, I don't have a job. You know what I'm saying? I'm supported by family. Fast forward during the pandemic. Y'all heard it. This brother, you know, he, he applied for, he applied for some of that, that pandemic money. You know what I'm saying? But I was telling cats, I mean, I, I'm not knocking nobody hustle. You know what I'm saying? But once you file for that money, your name is on a list. You know what I'm saying? Like they got your information. Unless you do some other type of whatever, whatever, they got your information on black and white. You know what I'm saying? So they find it. They find this cat. He um he filed for the money. Talking about some. He had an apparel company and had seven employees and was making seventy three thousand dollars. It grossed seventy three thousand dollars in a year, bro. Now you got Uncle Sam on your on your ass too, you know what I'm saying? That Fed, that federal government, they don't play, man. That's like that's that federal money, you know what I'm saying? So now now you got that on top of you know what I'm saying? Um, the the duck hit, and you got and you had the car, you the getaway driver, you got all this weighing down, you know what I'm saying? False statements. So I, I'm just uh, it, it's it's definitely it's like day by day you hear stuff, man. It's it's like uh, it's definitely it's sounding worse and worse. You know what I'm saying? And hey, I got it. I gotta salute them cats. I mean, as far as I know, nobody has cracked, nobody has bent, nobody has folded yet. You know what I'm saying? Which hey, salute to y'all. You know what I'm saying? Because I definitely just knew, and my candidate was O Block Los. Like he was going on. You know what I'm saying? Fold faster than Superman on Laundry Day. You know what I'm saying? But Hey, he done held on too for the most part, but the pressure's on this cat. You know what I'm saying? The pressure on, and it's just man, we gonna see, we gonna see what happens. Is he gonna is he gonna stand tall, or is he gonna pull a pull a uh, pull a mana? You know what I'm saying? Uh, what was a wanna? You know what I'm saying? Your boy uh, from a YSL case. He gonna pull he gonna pull one of them, or he gonna stand tall? You know what I'm saying? But it's just a lot of stuff adding up on them cats, man. Especially the weakest link and that, that's looking like Lowe's man you just look at his picture man they still got you know what I'm saying public defenders you know what I'm saying so um not looking good but hey y'all let me know you should do Eddie Kane Jr. just how I see it like share subscribe if you subscribe to me leave a comment down the post so I can sub back to you and if you're not a member of the Renegades you got to come on in man we growing every day man Renegades is huh, going that way you know what I'm saying straight up on the rise Hit that sub button. Welcome to the Renegades. Deuce.